Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got Note 20 5G unboxing. Brand new, just came out. Uh, and this will be an unboxing, first impressions. Not gonna go through all the specs and stuff uh, because I am not. Well, I, I, I can go through some of the specs that the phone actually has. So what's in the package, you get the Note 25G to S Pen, the wall charger, of course. Quick reference guide, terms and conditions that nobody reads and everybody signs. And you got hearing aid capability, important information, all that good stuff. But let's get to the unboxing. This is fresh, fresh from the FedEx dude. So actually, this is a gift for my lady. So I'm opening up her present right now, unfortunately. But it's for the channel, so she said I could do it for the channel. Let's. Open it up. Ooh, it's looking nice. Looking nice. Let me see. I know this is just the books, probably. Why they got it up in there? They don't ever have it up in there. Use this underneath. So it's kind of hard to get out. Oh, it's got a little, little edge. It's probably, yeah, sim. I was about to say, it's probably the sim tool and all the books that are usually in. Quick reference guy, all that good stuff. SIM tool, gonna need that. Oh, let me not show the SIM numbers. Might have to edit that. And now for the device. It's nice, nice, nice cameras, nice color. Take off the plastic. Uh, is that a scratch? No, it's not a scratch. It's got like a sheen, um, sheen on the back. It feels good. It feels nice. No, oh, it has an pre-installed screen protector. I usually take that off, but I'm not going to take that off. Um, see if we got some, some charge what else is in here. We get some more stuff. Oh, this is the SIM card and things. So not gonna need that because we just switching SIM cards from her old phone. Get the charging brick. Like I said, the fast charging brick. Um, super fast charging. Get a cord. This is the USB C and see, okay, phone's not turning on. Note 20, 5G. And you get this. I don't know what this is. This is usually housing, I think, the head, the headphone jack and all that good stuff. Or the headphone. But there's nothing in here. Usually you get the tips. In case you go through your tips, like me, I use the pen a lot. Um, I don't know if she'll be using it a lot. Who knows? Some people like it. Some people don't really use it that much. But it just uh, just depends. Depends on the person. So I use my tips. I, I mean, I use it a lot and I usually need new tips at least twice a year. I put new tips on and it doesn't seem to come with any tips. I don't know. Maybe it's over here. Maybe they're in the box but I don't know why it doesn't come with any tips oh and they changed the S pen is on the other side which I don't know how I feel about that I wonder yeah I didn't see anything claiming like you get left or right side it just was one choice so I don't have any uh I can't focus. It's not focusing. Maybe it's my eyes. <laughs> uh, 
it looks out of focus, but. So, of course, you got the let's go screen. I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, I'm not going to put anything. It's just really first impressions. First impressions is very sleek. I'm going to compare it to, I think it's slimmer than the Note 10, but it's bigger. Its footprint is actually, feels slimmer, but it's actually a bigger screen. I have the Note 10 right now, and I have Note 5 over here also. So the Note 5 it definitely doesn't compare. You see all the bezels, the screen. This has zero bezels, and it has the one hole punch, which is cool. I've found to like that one hole punch, and it disappears after a while. And you get uh, wallpapers that make it disappear or seem like it's not there. Uh, so you have like brushed metal. Down here, you get the speaker grill, USB-C, no headphone jack, which is what they're doing. Um, most of the time, we use Bluetooth speakers anyhow, but I would like a headphone jack. But my phone doesn't have a headphone jack either. It's just what they do now, no headphone jacks. Um, got the voice speaker, I believe, down there. That's it for ports. Uh, might be speakers up here. But they usually come through the grill or through the top mesh. Um, but yeah, so you got the camera array. You got the 12 megapixel camera, regular uh, 12 megapixel wide angle. So you can get them wide shots if you need it. And you got the 64 megapixel telephoto lens, which I believe is 30 times. Um, zoom, which is crazy, but uh, and on the front is the 10 megapixel front facing camera, and I think it shoots in 8K, which is insane because there's nothing really that can display 8K. So, but you're just gonna get a crisper image if you're shooting in 8K. It also is gonna take up a lot of memory because 8K video is a lot. I mean, 4K, I shoot in 4K video. 4k 60 frames to bring you these videos but uh this is 8k so that's double the resolution um technically i i'm not sure i haven't used the camera so i don't know how it fares but knowing samsung it's gotta be crazy um that cameras it's nuts cell phone cameras shooting in 8k so that that's insane but so that's it for the camera, right? Uh, this unboxing is pretty much done. The only thing I'm disappointed with right now is there's no tips. No tips for the S Pen. So let me see what the S Pen looks like. So this is the S Pen. It's Bluetooth enabled. It has functionality like the, can I get a, can it focus? Man, I'm getting zero focus. Here we go. So yeah, it's it's uh, Bluetooth enabled. It charges when you stick it in the phone. And it has some capabilities as far as it can remotely uh, take pictures. Like you can set your phone somewhere and then push the button and it'll remotely take pictures. There's other functionality as well, like remote uh, swipe and you can start and stop your music with the, with the button. And I think it charges in like eight seconds if, when you put it in your phone. It's, it's very small, very small battery in here. It, it doesn't take up a lot. I think it lasts maybe 20 minutes or so when you're out the phone. I'm not sure this is this is just me speculating because of having the Note 10. It's got to be similar or better, I would believe. So, um, yeah, but just just first impressions. That's it. Oh yeah, you got your volume rocker on this side. So they switched, they got the sides, like they switched the sides. The volume rocker's on this side now. Oh no, the other note was like that. So I think, I think they just like to go back. But that's cool because if you use your phone with your right hand, then you won't be, I think that might be why they do it. I usually have my phone in my left hand and use it with my right hand. If you're right-handed, 
I understand if you're left handed, you probably do it the other way, but this way you won't hit all of these buttons that's over here because there is no button. So I can un understand why they moved, moved them over, which is kind of smart. But yeah, first impressions, I love this color. This color is pretty nice. It does seem to be picking up some <laughs> fingerprints, but that's to be expected. And the screen protector that's on the screen will probably need to come off uh, just because it doesn't look like a really good protector. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, sh subscribe, share, and I appreciate it.